Today we're going to go through the Boss World Light Duty MIG range. This MIG range consists of three models. There's a 126, which has a 10 amp plug fitted, and that machine will weld up to a 3 mil plate. There's a 156, which has a 15 amp plug fitted, and that'll weld up to 5 millimetre plate. And then there's the 186, which has a 15 amp plug fitted, and that'll weld up to 8 millimetre plate. What we're going to do today is actually unpack the machine. I'd like to show you uh, what's included in the range and uh, also set up the machine for both uh, gasless wire operation and gas shielded operation. Okay, so the contents of your light duty MIG will include the power source, a 3 metre MIG gun, which has a Euro connector, an earth lead, gas hose and hose clamps, a small selection of MIG consumables and some drive rollers. The drive rollers you'll find, one will be set on the machine and there will be a spare in the box. And there's also a operation manual as well. Now what we're going to do is set up the light duty MIG up for gasless wire operation. First thing we need to do is select the correct groove on the drive roller. In the drive roller you'll notice that there's two grooves. There's a small groove and a larger one. Uh, one's for 0.8 wire, the other one's for 0.9. We need to make sure we've got the correct groove for the wire diameter. In this case, we're going to be running 0.9 wire, which is the large groove. What we need to do is we need to apply that on the shaft, find the keyway, and push that on, and then apply the retaining nut. second thing we need to do is check the polarity. On gasless wire operation we need to run the, the MIG gun on the negative polarity. On the inside here you can see the cable which goes to the MIG gun and that's currently running to the positive terminal. What I'm going to now do is switch those across so that runs on the electrode negative terminal. So we undo the, uh, the wing nuts switch these across reapply the wing nuts making sure they're nice and firm always a good tip is to make sure your electrical connections are nice and firm now that we've fitted the correct drive roller and made the correct adjustment to the polarity, we're now going to put on the uh, roll of gasless wire. So we need to remove the uh, retaining hub, put on the spool of wire, Not over tight, just nice and firm. We need to locate the end of the wire, being careful not to release it, otherwise it will tangle. Cut the excess off, then feed it through the inlet guide tube until it pushes into the outlet guide tube. Feed that through a few inches, put the top tension light roller on, and that is done. Now that we've put the wire on, we can see the wire sticking through the Euro block. We're going to apply the MIG gun with the Euro connector. Coupling done, being done up nice and firm. Now what we do feed the wire through as we turn the machine on to give it some power, adjust the wire feed speed, pull on the trigger and that will feed the wire through to the end of the gun. There we go. 
But the last thing we need to do is insert the earth lead, which goes into this DINS connector here. We simply locate the groove, push it in, tighten it up nice and firm, and now we're ready to weld. Now we've set the machine up correctly for gasless wire. We've got the drive rollers, change the polarity. We've set the machine volts and wire feed speed to suit the material we're going to weld. Now we're just going to do a bit of a weld. To make things easier, what we're going to do is use some nozzle dip. With the nozzle dip, what it does is it stops the spatter from sticking inside your nozzle. So we just dip it in and pull it out, and that applies a coating on the inside. The other thing we're going to do is use anti-spatter spray. Now this anti-spatter spray will stop the spatter from sticking on your job. So again, we just simply apply a very thin coating on there, and that'll help the spatter from uh, not sticking to the job. Put in our safety gear, turn the machine on, and weld away. And that's how easy it is to use the light duty mid-range on gasless wire.